Hey there, home theater fans. I'm Todd Anderson with AV Nirvana, and we're here live at Cedia 2022 in Dallas, Texas. And I'm standing here with Ken Hoffman. He is CEO of Quantum Media Systems. Ken, I just experienced your LED wall in there with Wisdom Audio. What an incredible experience. Right. Well, thank you. Yeah, so what we've done is we have a lot of experience in building theaters with projectors and screens. And we felt, let's go to the next step. So we're actually applying LED wall technology into the theater environment. We do media rooms as well, but our main focus is theater. So we've increased the color capability up to a digital cinema level P3. We've increased the bandwidth dramatically. We've gone way, way, way beyond. And what you're seeing here is an LED wall really designed to do as well as any high-end projector, no matter whose, but beyond that, because the blacks are incredible. They're beyond a million to one contrast versus projectors that are more like 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 to one. Uh, the brightness is incredible. You can have lights on in the room. You can have windows open, etc. We go up to what's called 1,200 nits, way beyond what you could do on any projector. And we're able to play content at an unbelievably high level. So that's what you've been seeing here. The HDR on this screen is mind-blowing for its size. I mean, we're talking probably 200-inch screens. Okay, so this, when we talk with uh, theaters, we're talking more width. So this is a 16-foot wide. It's over 200-inch diagonal, but it's a 16-foot wide screen. It's in uh, CinemaScope, so it's a 237 to 1. It's more for movies, but because the blacks are so black, we can reformat instantly to a 16 by 9, a 2.0, 237, whatever is needed, and the blacks become like a masking system, so you don't need a separate masking like you do with projectors and screens. So. Uh, and how we build theaters is different because with the projector, you always have to have a certain screen size in mind. Is it 16 by 9 or is it, is it CinemaScope? Am I doing two-way masking? Am I doing four-way masking? What are, you, what are you doing? Then you have a large projector. Do you have a room behind the theater, where you, like a projection room? Most of the time in homes, we don't. So then you have a large projector you got to put into the room. You have to deal with the size, the heat, the noise. Here you don't have any of that. So it's much, much easier to uh, design a theater and be able to watch it. Right. And you have no overscan, exactly. which is huge because, yeah, I mean, everyone out there who has a projector knows how irritating that can be when you have overscan on 16 by 9 and you have a 235 by 1. So, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful picture. Now, what does something like this cost? They can range. They are more expensive than your typical projector system. So we may start at like 150000 for a smaller system, and it could go well over a million dollars for a large system, larger than this. So we've done walls as small as 8 foot wide and as big as 30, 40 feet wide. So obviously the bigger the wall, the more expensive it is. And I think I heard you mention in the room that Wisdom Audio has created a speaker system for this particular uh, exactly. LED wall? The, the key now, now that LED wall technology is moving in the right direction and we're seeing more and more LED wall theaters, now we need an audio system that complements it because we can't put the speakers behind the screen. So what Wisdom has done, uh, a few other companies have worked on it as well. So what you have are speakers either left and right, down below, some are top and bottom, some are just top. So more companies are coming out with a system that you can now hear from the middle of the screen and it images perfectly into the wall. So those, you know, we encourage the whole entire audio industry to move in this direction because we're going to see more and more LED walls. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it was a treat to experience it. So the show is young, but it's by far the best system I've heard yet. And I'm sure it's probably going to be at the very tops. Uh, visually speaking, though, folks, these giant LED walls are the way to go. It's the wave of the future. Uh, Ken, thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I wish you a lot of luck during Cedia. And folks, we'll have more coverage coming up. <laughs>